here on Osney Island. We're in the process of creating a kind of laboratory where we can experiment with what the smart grid of the future might look like. At the moment, the electricity substation we have here copes perfectly okay with peak demand on the island. But as more people acquire electric vehicles and switch to electric heating, demand is going to exceed the capacity of the local network. We have to find ways of generating more electricity locally, storing electricity and managing demand if we're going to avoid expensive investment in infrastructure. Working with the local network operator, SSEN, we now have as good an understanding of what's happening at the grid edge here on the island as we've got anywhere in the country. And this enables us to start to play around with different scenarios and explore the technical challenges, uh, cost benefits of different options. And uh, we're really looking forward to building on what we've created so far. It's been a fantastic journey. It can't all be driven centrally. It's got to involve communities and it's got to involve consumers in defining how they want things to be for the future. And that's what's happening here.